Portugal 6-1 Switzerland Portugal flourish without Cristiano Ronaldo and thrash Switzerland, 5 talking points Portugal 6-1 Switzerland, Fernando Santos dropped Cristiano Ronaldo for Tuesday night's World Cup game and was vindicated after his team produced a sensational display. Portugal defeated Switzerland 6-1 at the Lusail Stadium on Tuesday night to advance to the World Cup quarter-finals. Before the game, Portugal manager Fernando Santos made a crucial decision by benching captain Cristiano Ronaldo. His bold choice paid off when Gonzalo Ramos, Ronaldo's replacement, scored a brilliant hat-trick to defeat the Swiss. By clicking the subscribe and like buttons and spreading the word to your closest friends, you can help this channel. Many thank. While Manuel Akanji scored a goal for Switzerland, Pepe, Rafael Guerrero, and Rafael Leao also scored. After defeating Spain on penalties, Portugal will play Morocco in the quarter-finals. Here are the key discussion points from Portugal's victory. History is repeated. After his outburst against South Korea, there was a sneaking suspicion that Ronaldo would be benched against Switzerland. After being replaced, the former Manchester United forward threw a tantrum, infuriating Portugal manager Fernando Santos. Santos stated, I really didn't enjoy it at all. But after that, those problems have been settled at home, so it's time to focus on tomorrow's game, which is what we're all doing. Fans were shocked when news of Ronaldo's firing broke prior to kickoff despite the argument. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner didn't start the match on Tuesday night for the first time since Euro 2008. Who faced Portugal that day? Switzerland. What impression was left by Cristiano Ronaldo's axe? Tell us in the comments section below. Ronaldo decision was correct. Santos' choice was vindicated after just 17 minutes when Ramos' replacement, Ronaldo, scored an incredible goal to put Portugal ahead. The 21-year-old striker for Benfica changed the ball to his left foot and unleashed an unexpected shot into Jan Sommer's goal. Ramos has already outscored Ronaldo in the World Cup knockout rounds, adding salt to the veteran forward's wounds. During his 514 minutes of action in the competition's later stages, Ronaldo has failed to score a goal. Ouch! I give Pepe a hug. Pepe, who was serving as the team's captain in place of Ronaldo, towered over the Switzerland defence to nod in from a corner as time expired, giving Portugal a two-goal advantage. Pepe's participation in the competition is impressive given that he will turn 40 in February. From the bench, Ronaldo ran to congratulate Pepe on his goal. Their close bond is understandable given that they spent eight years playing together at Real Madrid. It's significant to note that Ronaldo acted similarly after Ramos scored the game's first goal. Ramos finishes his hat trick. Ramos scored his second goal and ended the game in just six minutes of the second half. In order to support yet another of Santos' choices, Ronaldo's replacement connected with Diogo Delot's low cross. This time, Delot was chosen in advance of João Cancelo. Guerrero scored Portugal's fourth goal, capping off a superb team effort, by firing into the roof of the net. The Manchester City defender Akanji scored for Switzerland after a corner was completed, but Ramos soon made that goal only a consolation. The Benfica forward scored his third goal dinking the ball over Summer's helpless body. The task was finished as Ronaldo finally entered the game in minute 73. Leao scored a sixth goal in stoppage time to round off this outstanding Portugal performance. What will Ronaldo do next? Before the game, Gary Neville observed, I believe he, Ronaldo, does need to listen to the truth, that it's becoming a little bit of a sloppy end. Tuesday night was the perfect opportunity for Cristiano Ronaldo to acknowledge that he is no longer among the best players in the world. Portugal dominated their match against Switzerland, 
playing an entertaining kind of soccer that the crowd has been clamoring for ever since the competition started. It was reminiscent of several of United's performances this year while Ronaldo was sitting on the sidelines. Ronaldo may need to admit that he is no longer among the finest football players in the world, use all of his experience to support his teammates from the sidelines, or accept a well-deserved salary in Saudi Arabia. Will anything of that occur? It's possible, but Ronaldo won't go out gently.